lied to you. Um, the other day I was showing how I proofed the, the yeast to make the dough and I had the yeast that I already made and then I said, oh, I'll just make a, a dough so you guys can see how I incorporate it and everything. Um, I didn't have any Greek yogurt. And I was like, how can I make the dough without any Greek yogurt? And so I looked in my fridge and I had fat-free cottage cheese. So I whipped up that in my food processor and used a half a cup of fat-free cottage cheese in this dough. And it looks amazing. This was made uh, on the 4th, so this is two days ago. And then I thought, okay, let's just double up on the protein. We're just adding more, more protein to this. So we're gonna add our five ounces of, now, what should we call the, the, the che cheesy, cheesy skinny pizza dough? Yeah, cheesy skinny pizza dough. Cheesy chicken. And you know what, this might help people who cannot stand Greek yogurt. Like they can taste, and you cannot taste the yogurt in this dough. I, I will tell you that hands down. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one of these um, packages of Starkist Premium White Chicken. This is the less sodium one. Uh, you don't need to drain it or anything. This is a whole packet is only 80 calories, uh, zero Weight Watcher points because it's all chicken breast. Um, so we're not any any points to this at all. And again, I promise when you bake this, you will not taste the chicken. It's just I don't even know how to explain it, Han. It's just it gets crispy. It's crispy. It's, it's I'm not a I'm, flaky. I'm not a meat eater, but I that chicken crust pizza is yeah something I could eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. It's, uh, it's amazing. So we're just incorporating the chicken in. That's it. And now we're going over here. Then a little bit more um, flour on here. Uh, this is called a pastry roller. And one of my followers sent it to me and I can't remember who I have it written down. But thank you, I use it all the time. And we're just gonna roll this out as best we can. Um, some of the chicken's gonna wanna pop out and that's okay. We're gonna pop it right back in. No harm, no foul. I like my pizzas on the thinner side. And you do have to have just a little bit more flour on this because the chicken is a, a little bit wet. But don't worry. And you want to make sure you make it on the parchment paper. Yes, yes ma'am. So we are we always build all of our pizzas on parchment paper because we're putting this in the oven that's at 500 degrees. Uh, and it's really simple. You can just take both corners after you build it very careful open up your oven stand back let it come the heat come out and then put your pizza in there you're also going to take it out this way uh you will note though on most um, parchment papers though it says that they can only go to 450 degrees i've used probably four different parchment papers that are on the market uh all at 500 degrees they do get brown on the on the sides and a little bit brittle so i'd be very careful when you're pulling this out don't like go at these corners because they might fall um if you have a pizza peel, you can take it out with that. Or um, if you don't have one, just have like a baking sheet to the ready. And I would just pull this off onto the baking sheet, put it on your counter and then slice it. So this looks pretty good. And the, so what happened when you made the dough the first time with cottage cheese? What do you mean? Was yeah. it different? Uh, yeah. So it's lighter almost and i don't even know how to describe it so this is the first time i've done it with the chicken so i'm curious to see how this is going to turn out uh your pizza doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't um in fact i love when you guys send me pictures and your pizza looks like the state of california or florida now i'm just going to add um pizza sauce you can use whatever you like that's the one i'm using today um hannah doesn't like a little sauce no so we're gonna go really light on the sauce and this one I like a lot of sauce but that's okay and then um, we've got some mozzarella cheese this is um, bulk mozzarella cheese that I get at Mariano's it's just the roundy store-bought but it melts like a dream and I think that when you shred your own cheese not only does it melt better it tastes better because I think there's like a chemical they put on the shredded cheese to make it stay like separated yeah and then I'm gonna go light on the Italian seasoning because again, Hannah's gonna be trying this with me and just a judge of Italian seasoning. And so this is gonna go into our 500 degree oven um, for about eight, nine minutes. And then we'll cut into it and give it a taste.
right, cheers. Okay. <laughs> That's really good. Here's the thing. This is so good. It's so crispy. It's got like a... But it's like a, a flakiness uh -huh. almost to it. Mm-hmm. The pizza has been sitting for like 10 minutes <laughs> while we're doing something, but... This is really, really good. This is top, this is up there. Yeah, if you are someone who doesn't like the flavor of Greek <clears throat> yogurt, um, I highly recommend just subbing in half a cup of whipped um, cottage cheese. And you just put it in the blender? Uh huh? Mm-hmm. So, if I've done the math correctly, and don't quote me on this, the packet of chicken in here is 15 grams of protein. The added cottage cheese adds another four grams so that's we're now up to 19 with the cheese on top we're looking at almost 23 24 grams of protein for this <clears> pizza <throat> this is this is 10 out of 10. go make this mm. it is flaky it's i can't it's like lighter i don't know it's probably not even gonna be close but like it's okay, just, just go back a little bit yeah it's that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Delicious. That was a happy accident. Yes. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, we're busy. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, have a good day. Is there a point difference? Mm -mm. It's the same. I feel like I'd almost only use cottage cheese now. Wow, I just drooled while I'm eating the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing.